Hi, I'm Nicola Akritidis and I'm the luckiest person to be a part of the WT Melbourne Centre and this aims to present the information about biologist Jeremy Griffith's understandings about the human condition on human behaviour, why humans behave the way they do, are humans good or are they bad. I was introduced to this around the age of 14 by my uncle and ever since then it has changed my life completely. <laughs> um, I have gotten a much better relationship with my siblings from fighting every day, well, most days, to just not being able to understand each other. I can finally understand everyone. Like my brothers, we've all got different strategies. One's quite uh, paradigmatic, egocentric. That's kind of similar to my dad as well and all the men in my family. Always kind of being oppressive and telling me what to do and stuff. But then through the information, I've been able to understand where that's coming from. And I can understand the role that men have played in the whole journey um, of understanding the human condition. The first 18 months when my dad discovered the information, he was writing some really good stuff and having little moments of honesty, but it, it was really difficult to actually let that out and... It's quite confronting to express your real emotions. No one's ever been able to speak truth, truthfully about this subject, especially to your young kids and your family. You feel very vulnerable. Um, so it took a bit of time till he got really comfortable with that. But I've definitely seen recently, like, big transformation with him. I guess he's coming from a base where he genuinely feels defended and good and he's not so insecure about himself as much because he's got the defense and also with my dad I mean and everyone really all adults I love when Jeremy says how you can understand why people have so much frustration like volcanic amounts of anger because we're suffering we've been suffering from the human condition for two million years like that's massive it's so long and then when you just understand well all that frustration anger uh, everything has just built up and accumulated over those years, even like genetically. It's just so, so fundamental and important to understanding how everyone's behaving. And I just love that. And, you, and I can show so much more compassion to them, um, to everyone really, just simply by me understanding myself and everyone around me. It's made me a much more compassionate, understanding person. And if every single person in the world is able to absorb this information, digest it and do that within themselves, it will literally just skyrocket the world to becoming a much more peaceful, happy, loving place that we've all wanted to do and we've all wanted to live in, but we've never been able to know how to. Now we actually have the answers to know how we can actually achieve a world that is loving, that is pe peaceful, that everyone can be together and live really beautifully. So that's a big thing in my life that's really helped me and my family. Most families, including my own, are so separated and, and everyone can't stand where everyone, what everyone's going through. There's so much different ages. People are like one minute, everyone will all be together. Then in the next year, people will be isolated in their rooms, dealing with the human condition, but no one can actually acknowledge that. And everyone's, I think everyone feels like it's such an alone thing. And a family is meant to be something that represents togetherness and love. But that's not really common now because we haven't, or ever, because we haven't really understood the human vision. I think it's really helped bring my family together, um, especially between the men and women in my family. Like I have a sister and a mum, and I've got two brothers and a dad. And I think not having to always fight and have conflicting thoughts about things helps so much. When you can't stand each other, you're always conflicting, always fighting. But now, I mean, my parents were always fighting at one stage really badly. And then, and now it's, they don't fight as much and nowhere near to the extent that they used to because they can understand each other and they can own up to their, uh, their parts to play in the argument or whatever. And it just helped everything. Like, we are genuinely a much more together, happy, secure family and not all the time of course but it's you don't need to fake that anymore to the world because it's actually true a lot of the time we are happy and actually loving and living with each other so genuinely and excitedly we play board games together 
um, we always have family barbecues together. We can actually spend hours on end all together talking about the truth, speaking honestly, anything, just being able to enjoy each other's company is so special where families can't. Nowadays, everyone doesn't understand each other. Everyone feels condemned by everyone around them. And you just can't talk deeply and honestly. And I think that's so special that we have that connection. And I just want to make every person in the world be able to have the connection that I have with my family. And one day, every family, I mean, the whole world will be one big family, but immediate families can spend time with each other, can actually truly love each other and feel connected. Um, and it's a really nice vision to have, I guess, to understanding me, I went through a lot. I mean, I was lucky to get this when I was 14, so before resignation or before the period where kids are all, or during the period where I'm trying to understand the world, asking questions and everything. But I always felt really alone at school. Like, I had a whole bunch of friends, and I was always laughing and stuff, but I didn't feel completely whole within myself. And I always felt like something was missing, like I was kind of like an alien, like people didn't understand me and I always felt like I was a problem, I was annoying and always questioning that and I always felt kind of out of it. So having this understanding, it just made me feel so connected to everybody. I mean, like I could understand my situation and understand everyone's, what everyone's going through around me, especially when you're 14, 15, going through resignation and asking all the questions about the world. That helped me massively. I didn't need to feel so lonely anymore and so insecure about my friendships and everything because I had <laughs> the understanding. So that helped massively. As I was saying, like I felt lonely. Every person always, has always felt lonely. Every human feels like they're suffering from their own individual problems. But understanding the macro scale and it just puts everything into a whole context that all humans have been going on the same journey. All our little stories have all led up to this final day where we are able to get the information and have all the answers that we've wanted for ages. So I really love that, how it connects everyone together, puts all everyone's journeys into one whole journey of humanity. And now we've gone through all the bad stuff and now we can come out of the good end, um, all finally free of all the burden of insecurities and all the psychosis that we've had to suffer. So I really love that. So I think what's so important to be able to realise and work towards is a future where kids no longer have to suffer um, going through resignation, suffering all the not knowing, not being able to understand the world, not being able to stand, understand themselves, their feelings. And um, I also finally be able to explain to the kids what's going on. They won't have to pretend that nothing's going on because they won't be blocked out. They'll have this information. And that can help so many kids not go through what we've all gone through, what everyone's gone through. No more pain, no more suffering has to happen. And I think for me, knowing that I went through that pain and acknowledging the unjust um, condemnation, criticism and all the unjust suffering that I went through, that just motivates me so much more to support the World Transformation Movement and support this work because I'm, I'm helping... Um, lead humanity to a world where children won't need to suffer anymore, to a world free of the human condition. And that just brings so much excitement and joy to me that we can lead to a world where kids won't need to suffer anymore. And I think it's just so important. Yeah, it's just so exciting to think that we can actually achieve a world where everyone's cooperative and loving, where the world of kids and the world of adults, they won't need to be confused about each other. We can all be one together. And I think that's so special. I want to support the WTM Centre because I know that this is the life-saving change that the whole world needs. I know that this can save every single human on the planet. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Um, and I constantly support it by going on the website, humancondition.com, and I'm active on the forums, on social media. I always try to spread this information to the world and do as much good, positive comments that I can because it's changed my life so drastically and I just really want that to happen for the world and as you can see behind me I have all these pictures and um, really transforming stuff that gets me in a really good fun happy mindset I wake up I look at this wall behind me 
and I'm starting my day from a basis that I'm fundamentally good. I don't need to go through my day feeling bad and having to try and find more wins, more ways to reinforce myself that I am good because I've already started my day off feeling good. Um, so then I can just continue every day feeling free and relaxed, not being to get defensive, not having to get caught up in my insecurities because I'm living securely through the information. I think that's just so awesome and so transforming where I can... It's just so different. I look back to how I was living three or four years ago before this information and the whole world was just like, I didn't understand anything and now I understand everything. And I think that that's just so awesome and it's changed my life so much and I want everyone else's life to change, just like mine did for the better. <laughs>